Hi, I'm Jennifer Rice. I'm a politician. I'm the MLA for North Coast. So I bring your concerns, your ideas to Victoria to help make new laws to make life better for people. I know everyone's going through a tough time right now. So I just wanted to say thanks for all the frontline workers that are going to work and serving us in our communities. My son Lua and I today, we have picked a book called Everybody Loves Butterflies. It's written by Tannis Taylor. Little Caterpillar didn't like change. His brothers and sisters had all turned into butterflies and he knew that one day he would too. But he wanted to stay a caterpillar forever. Change is good, said a lovely swan. Don't you want to become a beautiful butterfly? But little caterpillar didn't. I like being a caterpillar. I don't ever want to change. Caterpillars are so boring, said a bright dragonfly. Butterflies are all colors of the rainbow. But little caterpillar thought that so many colors would just make him dizzy. You will eat nectar from flowers, said a buzzy bumblebee. Nectar is delicious. But little caterpillar liked eating leaves. He liked the satisfying crunch they made. Think of all the adventures you'll have, said a tiny ant. You'll see the world. But little caterpillar didn't see the point. He was happy here. What about flying? Asked a pretty, a friendly robin. Butterflies can fly high in the sky. Little caterpillar looked up. The sky seemed an awfully long way away. Everybody loves butterflies, said a spindly spider. Who do you know loves, who loves caterpillars? Me, said little caterpillar. I do. Little caterpillar went to see Owl. Owl was the wisest, the oldest and wisest animal he knew. Oh, Owl, must I become a butterfly? Why can't I just stay a caterpillar forever and ever? Little caterpillar smiled the owl. You are a caterpillar now and one day you will be a butterfly. You will still be you. You will just be you with wings. That very night, little caterpillar snugged down deep and had a long, long sleep. And when he woke up, he had wings, glorious wings, wings with red and purple spots. He flapped them a few times to dry. Amazing! He ate nectar from the flowers. He flew up high in the sky. He looked down at the world and flew a loop-de-loop. -loop. Fantastic. Yippee, he whooped as he whizzed past Owl's tree. I love being a butterfly. I want to be a butterfly forever and ever. Oh, Owl laughed. I'm glad to see that some things never change. And little butterfly wheeled through the sky on his brand new wings, waving to all his friends. Here's the life cycle of the butterfly. The larvae stage is the first stage. A butterfly starts life as an egg. The female will lay her eggs on a juicy leaf. And when the larvae, which are baby caterpillars, hatch, they will eat their way out. The second stage is the caterpillar stage. Caterpillars are born hungry. All they do is eat and growl, eat and grow. When they are ready, they find a safe spot and attach themselves to a leaf with some sticky gloop. This hardens and is called a chrysalis. The chrysalis stage is the third stage. The caterpillar, now called a pupa, hangs in its chrysalis. Inside, the most amazing changes are taking place. The caterpillar's body is breaking itself down using the same juices it used to digest its food. Some things stay the same. Others are totally new, like wings. The fourth stage is the butterfly stage. Weeks or even months later, the butterfly breaks out of its chrysalis. It pumps blood into its wet wings and it lets its new body harden into the sun. Within hours, it's ready to fly. And the last stage is an adult butterfly. There are more than 20,000 types of butterflies in the world. 
There are ones as big as a bird and tiny ones the size of a coin. Speedy ones who can fly up to 12 miles per hour and lazy ones. Over their lifetime, they will feed, find a mate, lay their own eggs and start the amazing cycle all over again. The amazing life cycle of a butterfly. Thank you for sharing a story with us. We really appreciate your time.